Uh, hello guys, welcome to Fish Academy. Yeah, uh, I'm in Mr. Yeriton's farm. If you have been following me on this channel, uh, you know he contracted me of recent for me to put things in order here in the archery. Uh, I, for some of you that have been asking uh, that I should uh, show you guys the amendment work that I've been going on here ever since I took off this contract. Um, I'm going to show you that, but before I do that, I'm going to show you I've, I've spawned, I spawned yesterday and in 20, 20 hours later I'm going to show you what is in the net, how the eggs are ashing out from the uh, right there in the kakaban. So if you check this kakaban, if you check from the previous video, video my colleague did from this farm, this is not actually the kakaban he used. He used uh, this that you are seeing here and he spread the net on, on it. But I have to construct a better kakaban to, in order for me to spread my eggs. This is how the kakaban is very neat and clean. And uh, this is in there, point uh, ashri A, ashri B and ashri C. I did the same thing. The corrections I did here as regards the overflow pipe, I mean the discharge pipe. The discharge pipe here was, uh, they were both, con there were three of these ashri you're seeing here, we're sharing one discharge pipe. And I discovered that if you have w w water in, maybe in ashri A, the ashri A will be sharing, if you open ashri B, water will move in from ashri, if you open ashri B, water will move in from ashri A down to ashri B, and if you should open ashri C, water will move to ashri C. And this is uh, common, uh, if there is any disease outbreak uh, in any of these ashri, it therefore means that ash if there is any disease outbreak in ashri A, it therefore means that ashri B will share it and ashri C will share it. But, and how do I have to stop this? I have to disconnect the, 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 the discharge pipe. This is where I did the disconnection. And in case you've been following me, this was actually a straight pipe serving as a discharge pipe. I have to do a disconnection here. I cut it, put my elbow, and uh, the digging is outside. I will take you outside so that uh, you see how uh, I construct body overflow and the discharge pipe. Don't forget, I will take you down to this net, to this kakaban, so that you see how the eggs are ashing out 20, 20 hours later. I also did the uh, the disconnection here so this ashery the three ashes that you are now seeing here are independent of themselves they no longer share discharge pipe they no longer share a discharge pipe so if there is any disease outbreak in one of the ashery the disease will uh, will be in just that ashery the other fish uh, the other fries in the other ashery won't be affected so this is the idea behind uh, the renovation work and uh, also if you've been following me my colleague, what he did here was that they had a vertical pipe. This place was uh, vertical uh, down to the discharge uh, uh, outlet. So I have to make it horizontal. As you are seeing, water is entering in here. Because the water is flowing down this way, I have to make it horizontal so that the polluted water will be pushed horizontally down to the uh, discharge uh, 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 outlet. I did the same thing here and I did the same thing here. Now, Let's uh, check at the kakaban. Let's see the kakaban, how the eggs are ashing out. The 20 hours later. This is what I have 20 hours later. I don't know if you can notice anything. 20 hours later, I did the spawning yesterday. And uh, it's a huge success. No white eggs, as you can, if you see, if you look through this kakaban very well. Though the eggs were not that much, but I have to spawn here in the kakaban. Can you see this? This is a very good uh, start. 20 hours later, this is how you know, this is how eggs, this is how they start. This is how the fry starts 24 hours or 20 hours later. But mine is not up to 24 hours, it's just a... Uh, 20 hours can you see them they are doing great here so in case you want me and there are some of them are falling down off the kakaban and they are under beneath the kakaban i'm going to take off this kakaban by tomorrow being 48 hours later so i'm going to take you outside so that you see how i did the connection of the overflow and the discharge pipe the amendment work i did here in the archery so as uh, as part of it this is the that is now serving as the o discharge and the overflow pipe what you are seeing here is now serving as a discharge pipe independent of themselves as i said earlier and this is from ashri b 
and uh, this is the overflow. The idea behind this, if you've been watching my videos, this is how I love constructing ashtrays, especially as regards overflow and discharge pipe. If I don't want to empty the, if I want to empty the water completely from the ashtray there, what I need is to open this valve and the water will go out completely. But with this, this is now sh uh, showing the level of the water they are right there in the ashery and if the water wants to overflow it will flow out from here and the water should go down beyond this level the water will stop therefore your eggs on there in the cacaban or your fries can never lack water or the water will never flow overflow the ashery the same thing that is for ashery uh, c that you are seeing there and this is for ashery uh, don't forget this actually was not there i have to do the connection i have to separate them because this is actually what was serving uh, both uh, the, the, the three uh, ashery so I have to uh, cut this and now this is now for just ashery A as you can see I uh, what they did here it was just uh, they just drop it here and what happened is was that anytime they open it the water will just flow but I have to also raise this beyond in order to get the level of the ashery A down there in the ashery so I now put a valve here to control in case uh, so that we can know the volume of water. Don't forget that the volume of water entering into the ashery must be uh, proportional to the volume of water going out of the ashery. So the same thing I have to do it here. I have to op uh, also put a valve here in case I want to discharge the water totally from the ashery. So I open this place and the water will go out completely from the uh, from the ashery. Don't forget I am at uh, Mr. Yeriton's farm uh, and I said this place was constructed by one of my colleagues in the profession. And uh, it's a very nice place in case you need something like this, you want to want to ask your fish, you want to set something like this up, you can contact me, check my channel profile, you see my number, you see my email, you contact me there and uh, I will come to the same thing. Uh, I will show you videos from those farms. Don't forget, I'm going to be here for about a month in order to ensure that uh, uh, we have a good result because what Mr. Eriton Smith here in this farm is nothing but result and I'm going to give, I'm going to give him result you need up to 100,000 fish and from what we are seeing here we are going to have over 100,000 fish so don't forget this is fish academy and i'm going to bring you i'm, I'm going to be bringing you update from this place i'm going to bring you update from this farm thank you very much if you've not yet hit this on the subscribe button endeavor to hit on the subscribe button so that whenever i drop a new video you'll be able to be notified you'll be notified of a new video that i'll be dropping as regards this farm and every other site that i have to work on thank you very much